A high school principal by the name of Carlotta Brown, she is the principal of James Madison High School. Well, a lot of people are talking about her here in Houston and also all over social media because she created a dress code for parents. Yes, a dress code for parents to come up to the school, but let me go ahead and show you this quick clip. Adult, and we are taxpaying adults, and we shouldn't be told what to and what not to wear. We're not the students. We are the parents. I think that's crazy. Others say they love the new rules and believe it's long overdue. It apparently all started last week when the principal wouldn't enroll a student because of how the mother was dressed. Now let's look at the letter she actually sent home to the parents. So it says here, Dear Madison parents and all guests, to prepare our children and let them know daily the appropriate attire they are supposed to wear when entering a building, going somewhere, applying for a job, or visiting someone outside of the home setting. I'm going to enforce these guidelines on a daily basis at Madison High School. We are preparing our children for the future and it begins here. Therefore, no one can enter the building or be on school premises wearing a satin cap or bonnet on their head for any reason in the building. You also cannot wear a shower cap of any kind in the building. Hair rollers will not be permitted in the building. Pajamas of any kind will not be permitted in the building along with house shoes or any other attire that could possibly be pajamas, underwear, or home setting wear, such as flannel pajamas. Jeans that are torn from your buttocks behind to all the way down showing lots of skin will not be permitted in the building or the premises. Leggings that are showing your bottom and where your body is not covered from the front or the back rear will not be permitted in the building or on the premises. Very low cut tops or revealing tops that you can see your bust, it says breast, will not be permitted in the building or on the premises. Sagging pants, shorts, jeans will not be permitted in the building and on the premises. Men wearing undershirts will not be permitted in the building. Short shorts that are up to your behind will not be permitted. Okay. Daisy Dukes and low rider shorts will not be permitted on the premises or in the building. Dresses that are up your behind will not be permitted on the premises or in the building or any attire that's totally unacceptable for the school setting. So many people are upset by this. They're saying that it's racist and I'm like, okay, it cannot be racist because it's a black woman. So I don't see how it's being racist because you say it in your mind, you're targeting black people. So we can't go there. Some people are saying it's elitist. It is classism. Let me tell you something. Everything that's in this letter right here, people have came up to schools that way with your breast showing with, you know, the cap she's talking about with the wife beaters sagging the pants, all that sort of things she's talking about. They have came to the school this way. We've seen this many times from certain people. I guess it got so bad that she said, you know what, forget this. I'm gonna come out with a policy that you can't come in here looking that way. So then you have people that's kind of split on this. Some people are like, yeah, it's about time somebody cracked down on this. And then on the other side say, no, it's wrong. They should, you know, okay, this is my thing. It's the people who saying this is elitist or this is discrimination against people who are low income. I don't believe people who are low income have to look a certain way at all. Meaning you shouldn't expect people just because they have a hard time, you know, a little bit financially that they can't wear certain clothes or can't do certain things. I don't believe that at all. I think that if the, this was this much of a problem for her to come out with this particular policy, then maybe just maybe, you know, things need to be tightened up at least around that school. Now, what she's saying about coming up to the school, looking any kind of way, rollers in your hair, because I know that was covered as well. What the kind of example would that be for the kids? That's what I'm saying. Like you, you're trying to go to learn, you're trying to have a more professional setting and you're coming up here looking any old kind of way. Now me personally, when I go to the school, you know, like I said, I'm dressed, you know, how I'm supposed to be dressed. But if I had to adhere to a particular dress code to go inside of a school, then I would do that. And you know, they can do that. I mean, they even got businesses that will tell you that you got to have, you know what they say, 
no shirt, no shoes, no service. Now people will say, well, we pay taxes here. So we, but at the same time, you know, I know how some people come up there dressed like everything she's talking about. I've seen it. I've seen it. And like I said before, if it's this bad that she has to actually come out with a policy to tell y'all how to dress, then that's a trip. It really is a trip because to me, I wouldn't want to go to the school looking any kind of way and embarrassing my child. No, I wouldn't want to do that. I mean, you going in there with, you know, a white beater sagging your pants and you're going to go talk to the teacher about your child, or you're going to go up there, you know, looking like you just rolled out of the bed. You're not going to put no clothes, not even a shirt, you know, something on that's decent to go up there to see what's going on with your child. I mean, come on. I mean, it is, it's, it's it is it, a bit much and to try to facilitate that behavior and try to turn it into something. I don't, I don't really think that we should be doing that. You know, we talk about shows like lean on me with, you know, talking about Joe Clark, Joe Clark would have made a policy like that. And we like that particular movie, right? How he got that school to turn around. We got to have somebody to try to turn things around with the students. And now this particular school is made up of, uh, majority Hispanic, but then the rest will be black. So there's only black Hispanic going to this particular school. And you know, it's like, like 50 some more percent Hispanic and, and a little over 40% black. So, I mean, how is it? I don't see how is it, it's a racial thing at all. I just think that she wants y'all to tighten up in the way y'all dressing at that school. That's all. And you can't really see if you'd have been a, a brother, would have came across with that policy. Oh boy. They don't, they would have raised hell more than what they're doing now. So it's a woman doing it. So that's a lot better than a man doing it. So only I can say is if you don't want to, you know, put no clothes on and, and take the, the bonnets out your hair and anything else is going there looking decent, you know, for your child or whatever you want to do. I mean, well, I guess just, you don't go up there. I don't know what to tell you, but it is until the district say that's wrong. It's kind of instituted. But leave me a comment. Let me know something about the situation with this principal. Now, do you agree with it? Again, I'm curious to know if you agree with her making these rules or do you think it's wrong, elitist and anything else that you think? I'm curious to know what you guys think in the comments.